Hello everyone, welcome to another Food Sack. We are still in the midst of a global coronavirus panic. Things are getting pretty crazy. I can't even leave the car now without getting yelled at. Get back in the car. And we are being encouraged to stay at home as much as possible. With everyone in isolation, it is a tough time for most people, except I think gamers. They are enjoying all the time at home playing video games and things just keep getting better for gamers with the release of this amazing collaboration. I am talking, of course, about Mountain Dew flavored Doritos. They finally done it, Doritos and Mountain Dew together. I thought it was just a joke, but apparently the fans were craving the delicious combination of Mountain Dew and Doritos. So PepsiCo, which owns both companies, stood up to the plate and they are promising a refreshing zesty zing combining the lemon citrus flavor of Mountain Dew with the signature Doritos full on crunch. That's right, it is a full on crunch. All right, so ingredients wise, it has citrus beverage powder. So I guess uh, that would be the main Mountain Dew flavor there. Anyway, let's give this a go. All right, so this is pretty exciting stuff. I might take my glasses off for this because this is pretty mental. Now I want to get a good, you know, proper triangle. All right, this, this one will do. Look at that, it does have a definite green tinge to it. I'm not sure if you can see that properly, but these are a fairly green chip. All right. Um, first smell, they just really smell like normal chips. But anyway, let's give them a taste. Whoa. Whoa. When the first, when, when that hit my tongue, I could feel an immediate like zest of uh, citrus acid there. So very citrusy, very tangy. Hmm. All right, there's some sweetness there as well. Some sweetness. Hmm. This one, maybe you can see the green powder a bit more. They definitely do have some green powder on them. Yeah, kind of citrusy. Mostly I'm just getting the corn chip flavor, to be honest. It is mostly corn chip. Once your tongue has kind of adjusted to the acid of the citrus, it is mainly a corn chip flavor. That's the overwhelming taste. However, if I just want to taste the powder, um, I've already got a little bit on my fingers. Um, yeah, definitely, you can definitely taste the lemon flavor. There's mainly lemon, like Mountain Dew, it's a weird flavor, no one's quite sure what it is, but apparently it's lemon-lime. And yeah, these definitely taste lemon-lime flavor. I don't know about being Mountain Dew flavored though. But overall, this combination of sweet and sour and corn chip is not a bad combination. Definitely more successful than the Lemington chips that Smith's had a while back. They were disgusting. These are actually not too bad. If there was a bowl of these at a party, I would have a few handfuls, for sure. Although, I don't know how these would go with salsa, to be honest. I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure why Mountain Dew and Doritos became the food and drink of gamers. I'm not, I'm not sure how that happened. I suspect the reason why Mountain Dew is the drink of gamers is because you can um, urinate into an empty bottle of Mountain Dew and it, it just looks like normal Mountain Dew. So no one has to know that you've urinated in an empty bottle. And you know, people do that. Because obviously if you're in the middle of a game, you, you, you don't want to leave the gaming arena to take care of your bodily functions. So, you know, you just do it into a bottle. And if you do it into a Mountain Dew bottle, no one has to know. Just make sure they don't drink it. Now you may be questioning, um, you know, Food Sack, how do we know that you have the sophisticated palate of a gamer? Like, are you a gamer? Well, let me just run some stats by you. Uh, first of all, I watched that Black Mirror Bandersnatch thing on Netflix. I, I watched about six of the endings there. So that's, that's one 
point one. Uh, secondly, I've completed Minesweeper several times, several times, sometimes even on the intermediate level and once even in advanced. So, point two. Point three, in the summer of 1997-98, I completed Super Mario World to 100% completion. Now that is actually pretty hard before the internet because you had to find the secret level that was already in the secret star level level. So that was very hard to do. So I think my credentials speak for themselves. Thank you very much. So you can only get these at 7-Eleven, at least at the moment. Like, I think 7-Eleven gets them first, and then other places might get them, or maybe 7-Eleven is the testing ground. I don't know. You can get two packs of these for $5, or like this and something else for $5. I couldn't be bothered. There wasn't much else that interested me besides the Mountain Dew Doritos. So just to get one packet is $3.70. Maybe they'll make their way to supermarkets and be a bit cheaper. I don't know. So, I mean, they're definitely not awful. They don't have the cheesiness of regular Doritos. If you insist on having cheesy Doritos, then these probably won't hit the spot. But they are an interesting, sour, salty, sweet sort of uh, twist on the regular Doritos. And I wouldn't say the Mountain Dew flavor is very strong, but it's definitely a lemon, lime, citrusy sort of flavor that they've got here. So I will give these my highest rating of pretty good. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you're going to get these or maybe you could tell me what's the weirdest chip you've ever eaten. Well, where's the weirdest place you've ever eaten the chip? Cheers.